Hi everyone! Today's video I would like to show you step by step how to install the Zimbra IMA Zimlet. So let's get started. First of all, you have to download the Zimlet package. To do that, just go to the zimbra.org slash extend. Search for iMail and download the package. Once the Zimbra iMail Zimlet downloaded in your server, unzip the file and go back to documentation. Let's start from the basic integration. In your Zimbra server, as a Zimbra user, type the command zm zimlet ctl deploy and the file name ca underline imail dot zip on the next step we are going to grant permission to imail domains so type zm prov mc default plus zimbra proxy allowed domains asterisks dot imail dot ca to finish this first part let's clean the zimlet cache up just type zmprov flush cache zimlet now you can restart the mailbox service. Just type ZM mailbox DCTL restart. Wait until the service is ready. Now if you go to the Zimbra administration dashboard and go to the configure option Zimlet you have to be able to see the IMAIL Zimlet on the list. After that, you can go to the webmail, reload the page, and you're gonna see a new tab called IMAIL. Click on it. Now you can see the IMAIL sign in form. To avoid providing username and password every time, we will set up the single sign-on. First of all, you have to have an iMail account. If you don't have one, go to the iMail.ca and sign up. The first signed user of your company on iMail will be the administrator. If you don't have administration permissions, Ask about that to your administrator. Once you're logged into iMail, go to the upper right menu and click on Manage Domain. Go to the API key option and click to the Generate API button. Do not forget to copy and paste in a safe place. This information will not be displayed again on the screen. If you lose the API key, a new one must be generated and the old one will be invalidated, so be careful. Now let's go back to the Zimbra server. First of all, you have to create a new folder inside the extension Zimbra folder. In my case, Zimbra installed under the opt directory. I'm gonna create a new directory under the opt slash. Zimbra slash lib slash ext slash iml. Now let's copy the extension.char file to the new folder. After that, go to the iMail folder Create a new file called config.properties Go 
go back to documentation on step 2 copy the highlighted text go back to the file paste the content and save now create another file called config.domains.json go back to documentation and copy the highlighted text go back to the file and paste the content at this point it's important to say that you can configure how many domains you want you just need to list each domain address along with its respective API key. In my case here, I'm going to configure just one domain. So I'm going to clean it up. Update the domain address. And paste my API key. Save the file. Now you can restart the mailbox service. Wait until the service is ready. Now you can go back to the web mail, reload the page. and go to the IMAO tab. Note that you are already logged in without any username and password. 